Hi everybody, welcome and thanks for stopping by to check out this video. Today I'm going to talk you through signing up and creating an account on the Line DJ platform, getting all started, ready to take requests and use all of the other amazing features this platform has to offer. First of all, go along to LimeDJ.com, have a browse of all the different features they have on there, and when you're ready, just click on the button that says start a free trial, and that'll bring you to this page here. And just go ahead, enter in your email address, pick yourself a good username that maybe reflects your business or what you do. Select yourself a password. If you like, let them know where you heard about Line DJ. Confirm you're not a robot. Click on Create Account. The first thing you need to do when you get into Line DJ is set up your profile. If you are from a country where English is not your first language, you can select your local language at the top here, which will make life a little bit easier for you. Next, you need to scroll down and enter in your first name. Enter in your business name. Select your business type, whether you are a DJ, a solo performer, a band, a venue. Just make your selection in this box here. Enter in your location. Now everything else on this page is optional, but we do recommend filling in as much as you can so you get your profile page up and running straight away. Here we are just uploading our business logo and a profile photo. You can tick some boxes here indicating what services you provide. And down the page you've got some fields to enter in your socials. So your Facebook, Instagram accounts, YouTube. You also now have a TikTok field. Once you're done with that, click on save. Now there are just a few more settings we recommend you look at before you go ahead and create your first show. And you can get to these by clicking on the settings tab just below edit profile. So on this page, we do recommend you select your time zone. If you want to provide a way for your audience to translate your public pages to the local language, you can enable this feature here. Below that, we have a box for the confirmation message. This is uh, displayed to the audience once they request a song. You can edit this to say whatever you like. If you'd like your audience to leave you a Google review, you can paste your Google review link into this box here. Now one of the great features of Lime DJ is the ability to receive tips from your audience. When enabled, a button will appear on your public page inviting the audience to send you a tip. And in this field here, you can change the text on that button. Lime DJ have partnered with global payment gateway Stripe. This allows your audience to send you a tip using their credit card, debit card, Google Pay, Apple Pay, Cash App and all the rest. To enable this feature, you first need to set up a Stripe integration. Stripe integration is a completely optional component. You only need to do this if you intend on receiving tips from your audience. To get started with this, select your currency, then click on set up Stripe integration. Once you've been transferred to Stripe, simply follow the instructions and enter in the required information to complete your Stripe account setup. Once you are done, 
you will be taken back to Line DJ, where you'll be ready to create your first show. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. In our next video, we shall create a show and start taking some song requests.